What's up guys? Kyle and Seth here with We Knives and we're checking out a new model, the Press Check. Guys, you know I've been waiting for this knife for a long time. Super excited that it's coming out. We're gonna have a launch date of the Press Check uh, right around the end of April. This one's been coming for a long time. We debuted this at the Blade Show in Atlanta last year. So almost a year later, um, this one's gonna be available for purchase. This is a new collaboration with Alan Elishowitz. It's one of the reasons that I'm so excited about it. Alan is a storied designer in the industry, been around for decades, making amazing stuff, and the fact that we got Alan to make this design for us um, and the way that it turned out is just super exciting for us. Um, some of the things that I love about this knife, first of all, you got a bolster lock on there. Um, that means that your fingers don't get in the way of that lock bar, right? When you're pushing on that, every once in a while you find a frame lock that binds up on you, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you don't have that issue with this knife right here. The press check is gonna come in four different varieties uh, as we start. First of all, there's an all blacked out version. So it's got a black G10 inlay over the black titanium um, with the black stone wash blade. And that one will also come in the recurve one as well. Yep, so we got two blade styles. Um, the drop point um, slash uh, harpoon with the fuller in there. And then the compound grind on the recurve tanto. And then the blue and black like, what color is that? The blue and black layer G10 um, with the gray titanium. And I love how we've got that blue accent over on the pivot. Yeah. It's really cool. Um, so again, same thing in the drop point. Four versions to get us started. Um, which is your favorite, Kyle? I like the black drop point. Black drop point? The black drop point, and you got the same thing that we did on this one. This one has a black uh, pivot liner. That's the black G10. Mm -hmm. So definitely some cool details on that. Another fun thing that I really like, like you pointed out, the bolster lock, the pocket clip. That's going to work so well in your thick jeans, those Carhartt pants that have a super yep. thick pocket. Because that's just going to slide right over it. And there's no binding right here, right? Because that pocket clip is sunk into the handle. Yep, it is recessed on both sides. You can see that it's reversible. So this knife will come with two pocket clips because it does have a, 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 oh, okay. a swoop on it to follow the lines of the knife. So if you do want to reverse that over to left-handed carry, then uh, there will be another pocket clip to slap on there. And I know you've been really liking this one. You had this in I your have. pocket like all year. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's the one that, that ends up in my pocket quite a bit. Um, and like you mentioned, it, do, it slides in and out of the pocket really easy. Um, it's got that deep carry clip and the size is just right for me for like kind of like a one knife fits all. Um, which is one of the reasons that I've been carrying it so much. Yeah. So yeah, it's I, like a three inch blade size, right? It is 3.12 inch blade. That's a That's a prime length. It's really it's really <laughs> good. It's really good. Jump in the specs. Uh, let's do some specs. Absolutely. The press check has an overall length of 7.62 inches. The blade length is 3.12 inches. The handle length is 4.5 inches. The handle thickness comes in at just under a half inch at 0.49 inches. And the weight is 3.91 ounces. Great blade length, right? Absolutely. Love, love the size, love the size of the handle. Side, like blade, the handle ratio is great. You even got like this, uh, the backspacer that's kind of cut out. So the blade will actually fit just perfect right in there. And then the, the backspacer actually doubles as maybe a walnut crusher. Impact tool? <laughs> Impact tool for breaking stuff. Yeah. But yeah, the titan so it's a titanium backspacer. Um, extends beyond the edge of the handle to give you that striking portion. Yeah. I, I really like that. Great design by Alan on that. Yeah. And then it also is coming in a new Wii box, right? Yeah. So this is, this is kind of fun. Um, if you guys are not part of our um, Facebook group, for Wii Knives, you should jump on there and sign up because we use that group for a lot of different things. Um, what, we actually ran a survey on there a little while ago to ask about our packaging because we came out with um, a new box for the Wii Knives that had the um, closed cell foam inserts, you know, mm -hmm. the nice ones sit yeah. in. Turns out people really missed their pouches. 
<laughs> so anyway, we did a we we ran a survey on there, um, got our fans' uh, opinions, and they said that they wanted the pouch. So we've got this new box um, that is still a premium box. We wanted to make sure that our Wii product is a, a, a premium fill, um, a good experience on your packaging. So it's a little bit different than the CVV line. So you still got a premium box there, but inside there's your pouch. Got to have the pouch. So you got to have the pouch. Um, all of your Wii products will always come with uh, your standard wipe, some stickers, an instruction card, and the Wii knives come with this awesome pouch that's nice and fuzzy inside. You can hold two knives in there. And in this one we found the other version. Of the, the black, black Tanto press check. Man, I can't decide which one I like better though, of the, uh, the black or the, the gray and blue. I just like black. Yeah. I think it goes with everything. It does. If you're wearing a red shirt and you have a blue knife, here's red, white, and blue. Is that a problem or is that okay? I guess it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to match your clothes all the time. I like to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but um, this knife, guys, we didn't talk about the action. It runs on ceramic ball bearings. Um, it feels really, really good. With that fuller on there, um, it's super easy to reverse flick it. Um, the the grind on this blade is really cool. We didn't really touch too much on that. It's a, a CPM 20 CV blade still, and it's a compound grind. It's a it's a flat grind, and then it changes direction up on the Tonto tip, um, on the Tonto version. And on this guy, it's a, it's a flat grind all the way. Um, you've got a um, bit of a uh, false edge. False edge. Wood. What do you, uh, what are the other terms for that? Um, swedge. Swedge? Swedge. Swedge. <laughs> we do have some nice jimping right here on the flipper tab. So it, I mean, it makes for a good flip, solid action on every single one. Another thing is for all those people that sharpen your own knives, this is very important, right? Having that sharpening choil. Yep. So that way you're not going over hitting your handle, nicking everything else, and you're just able to kind of get a full swipe on that. So it's right. kind of fun. It allows more sharpenings before that blade gets worn out. Um, absolutely. So thanks Kyle. Appreciate your insight as always. The press check is going to be available at the end of April. Uh, it has an MSRP of $293 and you can have it in your pocket from dealers for probably right around $250. So fantastic deal on a classic Alan Elisha. It's designed by Wee Knife. Guys, if you have any plans to be at Blade Show in Atlanta in June, come and visit us. Alan will be at the show as well, and we're going to sneak him over to our booth to have him do some uh, some interviews and things like that. So you can get a chance to meet uh, Alan, the designer of this knife, at the show. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more videos from Wee Knife, and we have a couple more that we're uploading over on the Civivi channel right now, so make sure you do not miss those. Perfect. See you guys in the next video.